today on Karamo. Your mother has tried to run you over. She backed up the car. This mother-daughter relationship turned violent. She tried to stab me with the switchblade. Oh, I'm just a bad mom. They tried to stab you. Now they're going to confront each other. You called She's me no. on me about my children. Uh, Y'all want to know why? Yes. And let all of their true feelings out. I'm out of here. Is this the last time? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back there and I'm going to talk to your mom. This mother and daughter will speak to each other. I just want my mama. That's all. Plus, I can't really bring her home to my mother. Lonnie says his girlfriend dresses way too sexy. No, stop! No. And is drawing too much attention from other men. You both want me to unlock each other's phones, correct? But now Shanice is about to reveal. I do have a confession? She's been keeping a big secret. <laughs> Brianna says the last time she saw her mother Rosemary, it was a hostile situation. Brianna claims her own mother was trying to stab her with the switchblade and run her over with her car. Brianna is here today to see if there's any hope in mending their relationship or if she has to say goodbye to her own mother, Rosemary, for good. Everyone, please welcome Brianna to the show. Hi. May I have a hug? How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. So, I have to know immediately, tell me about the day that your mother tried to run you over. It was a crazy day. I went and go pick up my children from Team Up. And as I'm getting my three-year-old out of the car, she comes running out of the house like, oh, you did this and you did that. You posted this on Facebook. You posted that on Facebook. What this, did you post? It was a video of her throwing glass little wet knots at me. And one of the glasses almost hit my three-year-old. After the whole, um, she tried to stab me with the switchblade. She went in the house. I came outside the house because I was on the phone with my husband at the time. And... She came from on the side of the house. So I'm thinking she's going to get in her car and leave. I go down the steps, because I'm still on the phone, not paying her no mind. And she was like, yeah, you bleep. And she backed up the car. And she proceeds to hit me. But my grandma, she jumps in front of me and grabs me. So she backs up again. Mm -hmm. And she proceeds to come forward again. Is that her mother? Or yes. Your so that's her mother that tried to grab you out yes. of being hit from by her car? Yes. Mm. I just, I'm like, my mom, since I was 12, I done had problems with my mama. 12 years old. Um, it's been constant chaos, constant fighting, constant bickering, the favoritism between me and my brother with her. Is it just the two of you? Yes, okay. it's just me and my brother. And she favors your brother more, you say? Basically because she knows his daddy and she doesn't know mine. Oh. She calls me all types of names. She calls me a mutt. Called, she told me that she wished she never had me. My mama got pregnant with me at 12. Oh, 12. So she had me at an early age. Right. And I understand that at 12, you're a child and you're raising a child. You, you know, you're not equipped enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But growing up and as you get older, I still search for that motherly love from her that I didn't get. Makes sense. I got married about three years ago. She was an hour late. I kept holding it off. My husband even got mad. I was like, hey, come on, man. I'm ready to get this over with. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you know, I want my mother here to witness this. By the time she got there, she was loud. She was belligerent. She was in pajamas. So... On your happiest day, what was the last straw for you with your mother? When she called DCF on me. Oh, she called Child Protective Services? Yes, on... she called, called them on me twice. And I have the email to prove. I had found the email in the phone that I gave her. Uh -huh. I, I'm like, why would you call DCF on me? You know I take care of my children. And what was her response? She laughed and called me a clown. Like, what type of mother is that? What are the things that you need your mother to do? One, I need her to... I want to have a mother-daughter relationship with her. Mm -hmm. Like, go out, spend time together, talk. Not argue, but mm -hmm. talk. You only have three grandchildren, and those are all my kids. I want you to actually partake in their lives. Mm -hmm. Not just, oh, well, I'm going to get them this weekend, and then when the weekend comes, well, I got something to do. My now, life I'm gonna is I'm going to challenge more. something here. And I'm not saying that the desire you have, because I understand the desire you have to want this relationship with your mother, it comes from any little girl wanting that. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to the adult here. Mm -hmm. You're saying I want to go out and spend time with her when your mother has tried to run you over. And then you're also saying your second point is you want her to be more in your kids' lives when she actually tried to get your kids taken away. And I don't know her side of the story, so this is no judgment on her, but I'm looking at the facts of what you're saying to me. Mm -hmm. So why are those the two things you want when she's tried to hurt you and tried to hurt your family? Because she's still my mom. She still birthed me. And my grandma always said, although she does what she does, she's still my mom. And I always have to love my mom. And that's the only thing that's keeping me not from wanting to just exile her out of me and my kid's mm -hmm. life. Because she's my mom. Your grandma taught you, you always have to love your mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense to me. Well, I definitely want to hear your mother's side of her story. Let's see what Rosemary has to say about all this. So everyone, please welcome Rosemary to the show. <laughs> Hi, Rosemary. Hi. First off, hold up. I'm sorry, Karamo. Let yeah, me no let worries. me let me check up real quick in front of everybody. Cause what you not fit to do is sit up here and make these people think I'm a bad parent. That's what you not fit to do. First of all, this happened in February. Correct. Okay, I was working. Correct. Let, now tell them the truth. Let's get it. Because you did all the speaking, want to sit up here like you just, oh, you, oh, I'm just a bad mom, and I did this and tried to stab you and run you, you over with the you car. You did try to stab yeah, me. Yeah, I you tried did to, try I to gave you the same dope that you gave me in February. When what, you tried what? to come to my house, tried to run me over with the to, car. First of all, hold this on. This ain't have well, nothing to do with you, Brianna. Let me tell you hold something. Hold on, ain't gonna, ain't gonna let me tell me nothing, dog. I didn't try to run you dog. over. You jumped it in front of the car no, when I'm trying to leave. No, it ain't finna do that. We not finna do that. I'm How you doing, Mr. Karamo? I'm good, Let's thank Let's get it. You. Let's thank get you. it. You called me no. up on me about my children. Uh, Y'all want to know why? Yes. This conversation is about to get heated. I'm out of here. Is this the last time? I'm going to go back then. I'm going to talk to your mom. This mother and daughter will speak to each other. Either she fix her ways or today will be the last day for me. So give me a shot. I'll be back. Day that your mother tried to run you over. I'm thinking she's gonna get in her car and leave, and she was like, yeah, you bleep, and she backed up the car. She hit me. She's still my mom. That's the only thing that's keeping me from wanting to just exile her out of me and my kids' life. Well, I definitely want to hear your mother's side of her story. Now, tell them the truth. Let's get it. What you not finna do is slander my name like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was young when I had my kids. I took care of my kids. Yeah, I was not there because I was always on the streets hustling, doing you what took I, care yeah, kids, I need to do. But you wasn't there. But guess what? Make but guess what? Mind. I sat y'all down your kids, and I but told y'all. One thing I Make did up your mind. Mind. being a mother, you can't not change the fact what happened, but you can move forward and make it better. And I tried that, what that I with tried you. To do with I her. tried that with you. I need to understand why do you think that your daughter has these issues with you? What is, from your perspective? I don't know what's the problem with Brianna. What did you two stop talking in April? Oh, for the simple fact that when her and her husband fell out, her marriage, that's oh, not really? my business. Now, she ain't oh, telling y'all really? the fact that when the hud, her and the husband come to me for counseling, like, let me tell you, Karama, I ain't never been married. Mm -hmm. So what the hell is I'm counseling y'all for? You my mama, so when I come to you and ask so you, you know for what advice, I tell them as you're a supposed mother, to give me you... advice. Why do you think that your daughter thinks you're not dead for her emotionally? Because Brianna wanted to just be Brianna. Brianna. When I talk about my kids and speak on my kids, I speak very highly of Brianna. Very highly of Brianna. Yet you called she DCF no. on me about my children. I did. So why, why did you call I DCF? Did. Why did you call? It ain't no military secret in the world to know that. I did. Why? I you sure called did. DCF, why and I you, take yeah, care of my children. Know why? why did you call You want to know why? Y'all want to know why? Yes. OK. One day, I looked at my grandson. He had yellow. He had a mark on he his eye because I had eye. whoop. I, he this, had a black eye. He had a mark eye. on his eye. He had a mark on his eye because they almost set my apartment on fire. My three children were playing How with matches because my eye best apartment friend. On fire? My, See, you need to shut up because you don't live with me. So you oh. need to shut up. Oh. So I can finish talking. Oh. Like I said, my best friend had left a pack of matches on this dining room table. Me and my husband was in the room sleep. I just can't do this. And the kids she found the, the pack she of matches. Because she said that they're playing with matches. 
That and bitch. we smelt the fire. I'm out of here. As I told my son up. Because you could have killed me, your brother, your sister, all of us in the house. When she seen him, she said his eye was black. His eye wasn't black. He had a mark right here. Mm -hmm. Because I had hit him. So you do know, so you do know, I don't know if you know my background, my history, as I worked, I worked in social services, as mm -hmm. a social worker, I would do home visits, and if someone told me there was neglect or abuse, that would be a rightful case for anybody doing an investigation and to come and, and to reach and out. And I understand and, that. and even by your own admission, by saying I, I hit him, I spanked him, I get it, I grew up in a black home, I understand, I don't agree with that type of stuff no more because I don't do it, but because that's how I was raised, mm -hmm. I got spanked, and I understood that was generational anger being taken out of me that I didn't want to keep passing down. Correct. And so, but I understand why... I can understand why she called. I'm not saying it's right. I'm, but I'm telling you. So there's a part. Of, no, so because I have two sides of me. Called. I understand a part of me that's like, as this talk show host, it's like, hey, I can, as a mother daughter, I want to heal y'all relationship. I get it. But there's another side of me professionally that's like, she made the right move by calling. But she did it in a vindictive way because when that situation happened, it wasn't about that protecting wasn't, the kids. That was, it wasn't about protecting the kids. Okay. So and even what with I'm the gonna relationship do, what, with her and my grandma. So hearing what you said, I'm gonna give one shot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna talk to your mom. I'm gonna go see where she is. She back there in the green room. I'm gonna go talk to your mother, and I want to see what she says. And then I'm gonna come back out either with her or without her, and mm -hmm. that is gonna be, be based on what I can tell because this card is full. I'm seeing a lot of inconsistencies. I'm seeing a lot of things, and there hasn't been a clear through line of how I can help you heal yet. Mm -hmm. And I would never set you up on a path to be in a situation where you have to hurt. Because you're 29, and I can tell you've been hurting for a long time. You've been hurting for a long time. I've been hurting, I've been hurting for a very long the time, and what that, she don't understand is that she called, she, it's not I, that she caused it, but she helped, helped this pain, because at the end of the day, I have a daughter, and I would never want my daughter to feel the way I feel about my mama uh -huh. at all. So if I call this show, I call. She's talking about why I called the show. You, I called something. the show to get help. Uh, yeah, I know, and I'm, uh, that's why you see, I'm, I'm taking this very serious, and I'm listening. And I'm trying to figure out. I'm just gonna go back there, and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, say something to her. Here you go, love. <laughs> I know, I know this is hard for you. Uh, <laughs> Do you trust me enough to go back there and talk to your mother and be able to say something? You can try, something? but look, look, look at that. You can try. I've been, I done sat down and tried to have conversation after conversation after conversation, and this is what you get. And like, like I said, either she fix her ways or today will be the last day for me. So give me a shot. I'll be back, okay? I've been fighting with them my whole life, and I'm sick of it, I'm exhausted with it. It's this the last time this mother and daughter will speak to each other. I just want my mama, that's all. Stay tuned. Why do you think that your daughter thinks you're not there for her emotionally? Because Brianna wanted to just be Brianna. Yeah, you called she DCF no. on me about my children. I did. I looked at my grandson. He had a mark on he his eye because I had. Eye. See, you need to shut up because you don't live with me. She she's found the Because she's sitting out there alive. Either she fixed her ways or today will be the last day for me. So give me a shot. I'll be back, OK? I know you packed up and ready to go. I came back here because I can see a lot of the breakdowns in this relationship. I see all of them. And I see where it started. It started from a 12-year-old girl who started to get rejected by her mother, didn't feel like she was a favorite. And that's the problem. I never rejected my child. That's I the thing. I didn't say you did. I said it started with you being rejected by your own mother. Your relationship with your mother has not been right. It yet. never been right. Exactly. It never been. I try to break the cycle being 43. I try to break the cycle because I got a granddaughter coming up that's watching all of this. And it's not fair to her. Now, I'm going to ask you this. If you really want to break the cycle, and I believe you do, I actually believe that's a true statement. Do you believe some of the actions you've done, meaning like the fighting back? Because I understand that where that anger comes from. I'm not even judging that. I know exactly where the anger comes from. Do you believe those are the actions that's going to help break that cycle? No, it's not. It really is not. It's just the <laughs> fact that I done got so angry. I've been so mad throughout the years. Yeah, I get it. You I've been mad you. throughout the years. This is this is an ongoing situation. I know, and I know. it been it done drained me. I, I, I can't ask, even when sleep I asked at you about night. That, when I asked you about that question about 
the mother, your mother, and about if you think she's influencing her, that was me getting a reference point of your relationship with your mother. Yeah, I know you've been dealing is. with this. It is because I done sat to the door with my mom telling my daughter that I don't care for her. My mom treat my kids different. She yeah. don't even deal with my son. Your daughter said that she needed you to be there emotionally. And I have been there. I know you saying I'm there emotionally. If your daughter's saying I don't feel like she is, there has to be something that you have to still Brianna, understand. Brianna, man, Brianna. But it, whatever word you choose, she, she manipulative. Like the thing when she said about the wedding, I'm the one did her hair for the wedding. This is the thing. All of those inconsistencies, I wasn't there. What yeah. I do know is that you're saying you felt pain from your daughter, and your daughter's saying she felt pain from you. Yeah, and, and I get it. And I get it. And I get it. Only way with her. to solve that is if you both, first of all, make the commitment to not do anything physical to each other. No, I ain't, I'm at this But point that's a now, commitment, that's a commitment. Yeah, this I, is the I exact reason. I want to work it with her, but you, not with the husband. I get that. Don't now, the second her. thing, because the thing is that y'all always gonna say, well, I feel this way, I feel this way. And it's a tip for tat always. But as her mother, when you go tip for tat and say, but she hurt me, and then she did this, there has to be somebody. Somebody gotta that, be a, a boundary somewhere, it gotta stop. And, the, and, and that, that start, start with me. With so you get it. I see the growth in you. It starts but, with but, me. But see, when you were out there, and you saying, I don't talk bad about my kids, but you talk bad about hers. You overstepping that boundary. Yeah, I am. You but it, that it, but you got to you gotta Listen, understand, like, right you got to tell, like I, I always, do, I do, I I always told her. You got to tell the truth, man. I get it. I do. Tell I the that. truth and about I understand that. that. I understand that that hurts you, but her truth for right now is her truth. Yeah, it's her. And your truth is your truth. I just want you to be able to show her that, listen, I want to set this boundary. I won't hit you. We're not doing anything physical. And then also, I'm going to make sure that I don't come at you in the wrong way. And I think that's the first step. Yeah. Can you commit that with your daughter? Yeah, I can. I, I, I believe can. in you. No, I'm grabbing your hand because we're going back on that stage. <laughs> okay. I believe in you. <laughs> okay. Did you hear all that? So, I can acknowledge what you've been going through, and your mother even acknowledged it. I asked your mother to make a commitment to at least not to be physical and to be able to, to set the boundary of not speaking to you in a disrespectful way, of not matching you when y'all have your anger, because she acknowledges she's the mother. You came here for my help, and I can't solve all y'all problems. This has been from 12 years old. So I'm trying to just get a little bit in what I've tracked to get y'all to at least a little bit of a place. So can you be at least open to what she's about to say? I know a lot of things that we did go through that I do acknowledge, acknowledge as a mother that I'm not, I'm not happy with. So, but I do want us to build our relationship as mother and daughter. Because that's the number one thing I always want to do is build a relationship with you. So I'm willing to build that relationship and that communication, but we have to be honest with each other. She's committed Because I'm not perfect. And you're not perfect too. You got your flaws, I got my flaws. But we have to break that barrier I just want my mama. That's all. That's all I've been wanting was my mom. And all I just want her is just to love me. Not just love me. That's all. Right now, she just needs you to acknowledge her pain. And, and I, and I acknowledge to it her. totally with her. Can you give your daughter a hug? Do you oh, want a hug absolutely. from your mother? Absolutely. You want absolutely. a hug? Absolutely. Yeah. Come on. Time is precious to me, you feel me? So anytime you need to talk to me, you can always call me and talk to me. I might joke a little bit because you get mad with me because I be joking, you know what I'm saying? But that's just your mama. That's how I cover up a lot of, that's what you have to understand. I cover up a lot of pain because I joke a lot because I be hurting. But at the end of the day, you gonna always be my princess, no matter what, because you look like me. So this is the thing. She made the commitment. She made the commitment right here today to not get physical and to also to make sure that she doesn't start disrespecting you. At least what that is, is a one step so y'all can learn better communication. And if you can at least do that, step one of communication will lead to more steps. Yeah. Do you believe that? I wish y'all the best of luck, all right? Good luck to both of you.
And thank you, friends, for being with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more. I can't really bring her home to my mother. Lonnie says his girlfriend dresses way too sexy. No, stop! No. And is drawing too much attention from other men. You both want me to unlock each other's phones, correct? But now Shanice is about to reveal. I do have a confession. She's been keeping a big secret. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Yes, Lonnie met his video vixen girlfriend Shanice on the set of one of her music shoots. But now he's changing his tune about the way she dresses. Lonnie thinks she shows too much skin and he doesn't trust her behavior around other men. At this point, he says he's even too embarrassed to bring her home to meet his mother. Everyone, please welcome Lonnie to the show. How you doing, Lonnie? Oh, man. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. You have a hook? I got you, I got you. <laughs> All right. So tell me about the day you met Shanice. Well, the day I met Shanice, it was like fireworks, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we met at a video shoot, and I saw it from my father. I was like, damn, who that? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so how long y'all been dating now? It's about to be two years now. Two years? Yeah, so this is a long time years. relationship. Two, okay. Yeah. The thing about her jobs that bothered me the most is that, you know, she's around, like, celebrities, rappers, and these music videos, and, you know, she's a vixen. Anytime she's out, I, I, I can't really trust her because I, I don't know who's actually going to try to talk to her. And I don't know if, because, you know, again, these people are celebrities. And again, I do trust her, but it's like these people could be saying anything to her. And I don't even know if she even tells me that she's in a relationship. Uh -huh. You feel me? So it's Have like, you ever asked her if she tells people she's in a relationship? I tell her, I ask her, but she says she does, but who knows what she really tells people. Well, she's telling you she does. Why can't you believe her? Why do you think she cheats on you? Well, the thing about it is that she met me at a video shoot. So the same way I approached her, anybody else could approach her. So what do you mean when you say she isn't wifey material? Well, it's like, I can't really bring her home to my mother. Mm -hmm. Why? Because my mom, she's really conservative, right? She's a real Christian woman. She doesn't even wear pants. So if I bring her to my mother, right, I need to like actually pick an outfit for her because the way she typically dresses, I can't bring her to my mama like that. So you like that she looks this part for you? Of course. But you're ashamed that she looks this part for your mother. It's not, it's not just my mother, it's for everyone too, because I feel like as my girl, you should be dressed so like that for me. you don't want her look only? Exactly. Okay, but you met her out in the world dressing as she likes to dress. Of course, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to cast a conversation. You're right, you're right. Does Shanice know you feel this way? I tell this all the time. You tell her all the time? Yeah. Okay, and what is her response? Her response is, yo, this is how you met me. I'm like, I feel you, but that's when you were single. Now you're in a relationship. Things have changed a little bit. Has she met any of your friends or family? Uh, she met like two of my cousins before. And what was their response when they met her? Their response was, okay, cuz, all right. <laughs> cool, they, cuz. They said she looked beautiful, is what that, that, is that translating to? Uh, or was yeah. it shady and sarcastic? Yeah, being sarcastic, like, oh. she's, a little, she's a little much, basically we're saying. Mm, okay. And are it's you the way that she was dressed. Are you embarrassed of your girlfriend? No, nah, not at all. But the only thing about it is that when we go out, I feel like I'm about to get into an altercation all the time. Because people gawk, they even try to talk, they make hissing noises. So it's like every day I go outside, I never know what I'm about to partake myself into. Because mm. you know how people are. You can never trust anyone. Mm. Do you ever tell her how to dress? Yeah, I do. And what does she do when you tell her that? And she says no. She <laughs> says no. <laughs> it's time to meet Lonnie's girlfriend. Please welcome Shanice to the show. You full of it. How the f are you gonna sit there and say that I wouldn't be able to be introduced to your mother? And this Am is I, a, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you start, how are you gonna say I'm, I'm not gonna be able to be introduced to your mother because of how I dressed? I'm not Oh my God. I'm not I'm gonna lie though, No, 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 I'm no, not, no, 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 I don't wanna hear it. I'm just saying. How are you gonna I, say that I can't be introduced to your mother? Are I, you serious? Just, oh, you better sit your ass down. I just said what no, I said. I just said what no, I said. No, 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 sit down. I just said what I no, said. I just said what I why said. Why did I address? How 
I'm just not. Can you I actually, you actually, actually got clothes on. You actually, you actually, actually doing good today. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. You're you doing good today. You're doing you know good what? today. But what is that? What you saying? I'll tell this? you this. Yo. I'll tell you this. You look fly from head to toe. I'm like, you look great. She looks great. She looks great. You see that? All that? She looks great. All of this. All of this. All of this gets booked. It gets booked and it makes money. Exactly. I'm All right then. So what you mean exactly? But you can't be like this. That's at work though. Okay. That's at work. Every every day. Every second not work though. Every second. No, stop. No, Every no, I'm not going to stop. stop. I'm not going to stop. Lonnie says his girlfriend dresses way too sexy. Usually you had no clothes yeah, on. Yeah, not working. But now Shanice is about to reveal. I don't know how to tell him. Like, my heart is beating so fast right now. She's been keeping a big secret. <laughs> What do you mean when you say she isn't wifey material? I can't really bring her home to my mother because the way she typically dresses. Do you ever tell her how to dress? Yeah, I do. And what does she do when you tell her that? And she says no. How I'm dressed now? Can you I actually, do You actually got clothes on. You actually, you actually doing good you today. You know what? Take a seat for me. Every Listen. single time when I step out the house and I'm just however he want to say, like provocative or whatever, it's because of my work. Okay, I do video vixen, okay. But then you want to call me out my name. You want to go ahead and bring my. Name. I'm not calling your name. You gonna so lie? Did, so did you actually just say, first of all, nice to meet you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Like you look really great. This accoutrement right here, I'm baby. I'm sorry, I'm out of my character. No, you fine. I'm, I'm, no, 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 this no, no you can listen. This is a character. No, but it's okay. This is my Let me tell you, this, 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 you being this passionate is okay for me because anybody who's hearing that the person you're with doesn't want you to meet their mother, like if my partner said that to me, I'd be. Uh, I mean, okay, he didn't get but cussed like, out. Yo, so I'm I understand the feeling. So I would know to dress differently, but the fact that you already have that in your mind, this is the reason why, this is why we're here right now. Because you have well, the narrative you actually, about you me. You actually got clothes on today, so I actually Shut like I actually like this. You feel like I actually like Hold this. on, so you, you, but really you know, like she just right came here. out here, Lonnie, I really you like said she's doing lie. better today. To what do you mean she's doing better today? Because usually it's like, everything's out. You know why? Because there's a time and place for everything. But usually, but hold on, but usually you have no clothes yeah, on. Yeah, because usually, usually you because have usually no clothes on. Because usually I'm No, 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 it's not every you're second you're working. No, it's can not. You me, can you tell me about your job as a video vixen? Okay, what do you so, do? you know, naked. I... Anyways, I'm a video vixen. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I do music videos. Obviously, we already know we're in 2023. Everything's provocative. We be in bikinis. We be in, you know, like provocative clothes. We be dancing. On top of all of that, he met me that way. Yeah, got he it. He met me that way. I understand. And it wasn't a problem when he first met me. So now it's like, okay, I get it. You know, I'm your girl and all this stuff. And I know you want something different. But at the end of the day, like, this is how you met me. Yeah. Like, you can't change me for who I am does, or what I'm does doing. Does he make you feel like he you want he wants to change you? Yes, of course. He's, yeah. He sits here and he calls me out my name. He wants to bring my past relationship and want to call me all types of bitches and hoes and all this, et cetera, et cetera, which he's not saying because he's saying this is my attitude, but he's not showing you the attitude that he went, he's not showing you what he showed at home. Okay, what's the attitude he has at home? Yes, what's his attitude, Lonnie? I'm lovey dovey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh believe that for God. one Say second. Say that for your mama. I don't believe that for one that second. For I'm lovey dovey. He needs to work on himself and his self love and figure out what the f he got going on in his mindset. Yeah. Why do you think he doesn't trust you? Why don't you trust me? Because you Honestly, right. because I address. That's the only reason, but I feel like he doesn't trust me because of insecurity. Because obviously, you know, I am very yes. voluptuous. <laughs> or whatever. Other than that, I don't, I don't, you know. You look good, girl. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, you do though. You do though. You look, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Don't be trying to soft you me up right baby. now. You look beautiful, baby. So my producer told me you were very upset when you saw that he didn't have photos of you in his in. Oh yes. Okay. So we were supposed to send his photos. Phone. My phone had broke not that long ago, and I had to get a new phone. So I called him, like, babe, like, you know, um, send some of our photos. He said, I don't have none of our photos. I'm like, how you don't have none of our photos? He said, oh, it's not that important. On top of that, we had an incident where he was going to the bathroom. He came back out to grab his phone and went back in the bathroom. I'm like, what you grabbing your phone for? He's like, oh, you know, being very suspicious. So I'm like, let me see your phone. He ain't want to let me see his phone. I'm like, give me your phone. I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I was immature and I snatched his phone and I ran. And then he ran after me and he snatched the phone to the point that he almost dead broke his phone. So in my mind, it's like, okay, you're hiding something. Maybe there's a reason why well, they're sitting up there well, and feel, accusing me of things well, because maybe you're like, doing 
then you probably ain't got no business doing. Do you feel like he's, because you said he, you feel like he's hiding something. Do you feel like he's hiding you? They both came here to save their relationship. You both want me to unlock each other's phones, correct? But Shanice has been keeping a secret. I do have a confession. That will change everything. <laughs> you are the cop. Get off my stage. I get it, you know, I'm your girl and all this stuff, and I know you want something different, but this is how you met me. Like, yeah. you can't change me for who I am does, or what I'm does doing. Does he make you feel like he, you want, he wants to change you? Yes. So my producer told me you were very upset when you saw that he didn't have photos of you in his phone. So in my mind, it's like, okay, you're hiding something. Because you said he, you feel like he's hiding something. Do you feel like he's hiding you? Yes. I do. He don't post me. He doesn't want to, obviously, he doesn't want the pictures of me. Like, he don't want me going through his phone for I don't know what. But even other than that, he don't post me. He don't want me to go to his mama, even though I could. It's just clothes. Like, I don't, I st I'm a mother myself, so I don't understand why you would think that I can't change for your mom. And I feel like it's bigger than that. I love him because he spoils me. Don't get me wrong. He spoils me. We have amazing. Yes. Intimacy time. But, like, I just don't like the verbal communication. He verbally abuses me, and I cannot stand that. Yeah. It hurts me. It hurts me real bad. Well, listen, one of the things that you both came here for is you both wanted me to unlock each other's phones, correct? Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, you wanted me to unlock the phone, and it's, I think it's time that we see what we discovered, OK? It's time to unlock the phone. <laughs> Shanice. You told my investigators you wanted to know if he was speaking to any other females. You wanted to search his DMs, his messages, his texts, and his apps. And so we were trying to unlock the truth in your phone. And Lonnie, you refused. The reason I didn't want to lock my phone because, you know, I sent her like pictures of, you know, no, and why I didn't want you, want you guys to see that. Real. We only go for what you ask us for. See, I didn't know. So if you're saying, I'm looking for photos to see if he sent this to another woman, then we'd be looking for that. Oh, but I don't got none of that, though. I'm good. You're well, a liar. we would never know. You're a liar. You did not lock your phone. So, Lonnie, you told my investigators you want to know if Shanice had been talking to other men. You want to, um, us to search her texts, her messages, and her photos. That is what you want, yeah, I definitely correct? want that. OK. Well, Shanice, we unlocked your phone. Well, actually, we didn't, because you refused for us to unlock your phone. So why would you refuse? Why I have a reason why I didn't unlock it. OK. Because okay. you're being suspect. That's why. You I just, no, 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 no. I'm not being no, suspect. That's, that's what it is. Hold on. Can I speak? Well, Shanice, you did say we talked earlier. You, when I first got into work, um, my producer told me immediately that Shanice was distraught in her, her dressing room, and that she had a confession for me. And we recorded it. I'm going to show it now. I'm so nervous. Shanice has been keeping a secret from Lonnie. I don't know how to tell him. Like, my heart is beating so fast right now. And you won't believe what it is. It's time to unlock the phone. Lonnie, we unlocked your phone. Well, actually, we didn't because you refused. Shanice, you refused as well. When I first got into work, my producer told me immediately that Shanice had a confession for me, and we recorded it. I'm going to show it now. So my producer said you needed to talk to me before the show. All right. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm so nervous. Like, I have a confession to make to Lonnie. OK. I don't know how to tell him. Like, my heart is beating so fast right now. It's okay, I love it. It's a safe space. You, I got you. Okay, so I got to tell him I have an OnlyFans. Okay. I, I don't know how going to be act, though. Like, he already be cussing me out, and he already be, like, spazzing when I go ahead and get him out the door. Yeah. Provocative for my whole, like, you know, video vixen life and got all that it. stuff. So I don't know how he's going to react when he finds out I have an OnlyFans. Don't worry. I can help you with that. That I can help you with. So your confession is that you have an OnlyFans. Lonnie, what is your reaction to that confession? And thinking about that, right? 
I already knew. My boy told me. So that's why I was always suspect about you. Like, how you have an OnlyFans and not gonna tell your man? Because it makes sense. Like, we could have been together on OnlyFans doing stuff. But, like, <laughs> but like you're gonna have an OnlyFans, so how can I really trust you? I don't even know, I don't even wanna look at your OnlyFans, because I don't know what type of content you have on your OnlyFans. First of all, I would have may have considered you my OnlyFans, but because you are so insecure and you be giving me so much <laughs> with your verbal abuse. Insecure? Yes! What you mean? You, yes! are, you have an OnlyFans. Yes! That, that, you, you have an OnlyFans, okay, though. Okay, but that's why I started OnlyFans. Come on, like, I seriously. So, so I'm going to ask you, you OnlyFans, so, though. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. But if you already knew, why didn't you talk to her about it? Because I was, I was waiting for her to tell me, because I'm like, yo, this is my girl. But there's a bit of manipulation in that. It's like, oh, I know, I got something over you, but um, I'm gonna hold it till you tell me. And while I'm not, I'm so holding this information. Protect. It's 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 it's, 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 it's manipulative. It's exactly, and I, I said I don't that take it like he's that. a grand manipulator like at one thousand. Nah, not at all. And guess what? At the end of the day, I have, still came out. How long have you had the OnlyFans page? I started Good OnlyFans question. in February. She's only had it since February. You've been together for two years, you told me. Yeah, so what happened years. that first year and a half where you were doing things, you were calling her out, you were accusing her, Insecure. you were doing this controlling behavior, Insecure. and then now to hear this. So Insecure. I understand Insecure. why she would not want to tell Insecure. you if there's a year and three Insecure. months, mm -hmm. if there's a year and three months Insecure. where my man has made Insecure. me feel bad. Yeah. Okay. Beside the dance, she right. There is a bit of insecurity there. The, the first thing I wrote here on my card was insecurities and controlling behavior. This Come is on. the thing. The, why it's insecurities is because if you didn't want a woman who dressed like this, then you should have never gotten a relationship with her. No, no, I can't. But to get into a relationship with a woman who dresses a certain way, no, I can't. I can't. I can't agree with that. I can't, I can't agree with that because again. I love that she, when I met her, it was like that, right? But which again, then goes, which but then, go, which as you're in like I wrote down, it then goes from insecurity to controlling. Because for you to say, but then I like it when she dresses like this, but then when she's with me, you can't be that way. Now you're trying to control your woman. Lonnie. When you say things like she needs to dress only like that for me, I, I write down your words, okay? I like to fact check, okay? Oh, course, it's facts over feelings over here, uh -huh. okay? And so the fact that you say that, it, it just blows my mind. All right, so we took a social media poll. If your, your man said you're not wifey material, would you stay with him or would you walk away? And 92% of people on our social media said, if you ever told me I'm not wifey material, I'd walk away. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. So why wouldn't you walk away? Because you clearly said when I was back there, you said that I wasn't wife material, I'm not gonna lie. That actually really hurt my feelings because I feel like at this point, you're just playing games with me and you're stringing me along. So what the is the point of having me around if you don't want me. But I love you, though. Honestly, I will tell you this. There are insecurities that Lonnie has, unfortunately, because Lonnie, I think this could be a beautiful relationship. Even when you just made that comment about we could do the OnlyFans together, like, I'm all about people in relationships making choices that work for them. It might not be the choice that we would agree with, but if you two want to establish a relationship where you both could um, be working together in that capacity, that's for your choice. But the fact that you've ruined it by manipulating and having these insecurities and controlling behavior, it's lost it. And so until you do some work on yourself, I mean, like, you told your girl of two years that you wouldn't want her to meet your mom. That is so contradictory of saying, I, you're my future. She's not your future. She's your right now, because if she was your future, she would have already met your mom, and you would have stood up to your mother as a man and said, Mom, this is my woman. How she dresses is how she dresses. And that's just the truth. But Shanice, the real thing now is that as a young woman, because I know there's a 10-year age gap or 9-year age gap, it's for you to choose. It's, this is your choice. This man has told you that he, you're not wifey material. This man has told you that he wants to control how you dress. This man has told you that he doesn't trust you. You know, my thing is, I just, just I have hope that maybe that might change. You've spent two years in a relationship where, yes, the sex is good. Yes, he's charming. Yes, I give you all of that. And I, it sounds like he's also a good provider for you. But do you really want to be in a relationship for another two years where he's trying to tell you where well, you can't meet his mother? Well, you can't meet family members? I mean, that's why we came here in the first place. Because yeah. at this point, it's, like, it's getting me to my breaking point that... So point do you think you can work on your controlling behavior? I can. Ultimatum. You're either going to show me to your mother or I'm gone. Boom. <laughs> You're not going nowhere. Denise, yeah. you got to stay strong in this. Because if you start to bend boundaries now in the beginning of your relationship, you're going to be bending boundaries for the rest of your life. 
My mother told me from the beginning, she told me and my sisters, you show a man how to treat you, all right? You keep putting up with this, you're going to show him you're okay with him treating you like this, all right? Show him that you got boundaries, that you have self-worth, and you're not going to allow this. You, one week for him to teach, meet you to your mom, I'm going to check up on you. Literally. Let's make and a note. We're doing a checkup. Like well, you got one week, and I'm calling your phone, and we're going to put you on that video screen right now. <laughs> and if you ain't met his mama... You don't need my mama. You don't need my mama. Don't need All right. right. Well, listen. I wish y'all the best of luck. You got a beautiful woman here with a lot well, of energy, a hustler. You got a beautiful woman here. Respect her and trust her. I got okay? you. Respect her and trust her. I wish y'all the best of luck, all right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back, friends, next time so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all.